It was uh, during the holiday season. And I remember clearly that my body was so weak and getting weaker and weaker. And the pain that I was enduring and my husband not be able to, to see me uh, in that state. 3.30 every day, I have to go inside this machine and receive those, this, like, fire. <laughs> and, um, but I see, at the same time, I had on me, Monday to Sunday, my chemo. I, wouldn't, I was not able to take it anymore, and I was getting weaker and weaker. I didn't see the, the light. The light. Uh, I didn't see it. I was in a good dark place, and I wanted to give up. It's, it was very clear for me that there was no way I will endure any more pain. So that day, I called the Canadian Cancer Society. And the lady, she answered her phone, and she listened to me. And I was so honest with her. I told her, this is too much. I want to quit. It's over. She didn't judge me. She didn't say anything. She listened. I shall I share to her the guilt that I have of feeling that way because I had so much people around me taking care of me. She just listened. And when I hang up, I put on my hat and I say, let's go to my treatment. Without that call, I don't know if it would be a today for me. I got 10 more years, 10 more years. This is a big gift.